Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Welcome to my creative carnivore kitchen. Carnivore girl here. Um, not wearing anything really special today. This um, definitely not mine and definitely gonna uh, get on the pile to give away because I feel like I'm gonna flex and it's bursting open. <laughs> okay, so just don't flex today. I'm still trying to wear all the clothes that I have in a bag to give away where it wants for a show and then I can get rid of it. So this is definitely one. Okay, today we're gonna make eggshell flour. Yeah, very rich in calcium, of course. So instead of calcium supplements, take eggshell flour. And I'm super excited for the future to use it for recipes. So I gotta admit, I've never done it before, I've never used it before, but uh, in the carnivore space, in the carnivore community, I've seen and heard of that multiple times. It's like, oh yeah, I want that. And you know, I have my, here's the link to the chicken flour that is so popular, that I love so much. Do the exact same with beef. So, um, of course, I wanna make also other flowers with all kinds of animals but today eggshell flour. So what I do first here, I already prepared stuff, need this. I'm gonna use um, eggs tomorrow anyway, six eggs. So it's perfect, so I can show you what I'm doing because I wanna, so I, I'm just gonna crack the egg, right? But, um, now in here I have this skin and you see I'm gonna just and that's oh you see I can just oh almost all the way like peel it off and I do that right away it's so much easier than trying to do that later hey, great and I, I don't know, the, I haven't looked it up or whatever, how every, the others do. Maybe they grind it up with this skin, but I don't wanna. I also feel like if there are, I don't know, but I feel like if there are any bacteria, it's like more on that one. So here, show you the same. So usually you have here already stuff cracked. You see that it's super easy to just hold on to that. Oh yeah, that's a good one. And you just peel it off. Maybe you still have some here. Wow, look, this is perfect. It's even totally dry. Whoa. That one, yeah. And I sometimes like the bigger pieces, I just peel off like this. There's a, uh, I don't care. So yeah, anyways, I don't have to show you that with all the six eggs. Um, but then what I do is, let's get over here. I'm already heating up water. Ooh, almost boiling, not quite yet. And I just put it, put them in here. It doesn't matter how clean I got. I put all of them in here and I just boil them for 
I don't know, just for a little bit, maybe one minute is enough. I probably boil them for five minutes just to be sure to get all the, the stuff away. And you know, like it, it could still um, kill whatever is there. So, so imagine we would have done that with a lot of eggs. Now, let me turn this off because I'm not gonna do that now actually, it's just here to show you. And we come back here because I already have, this is garbage, prepared eggshells that I've done, oh my gosh, I think it was in March. And now is, what do we have? Almost August, it's July. And I don't know when it will get aired. So I have eggshells prepared. So see, yeah, after then they're done boiling, of course I just, uh, I, I think I used a um, baking sheet. I just put them, perfect. I just put them on like this and let them dry out or however. Ugh. Okay, let's get the bigger pieces. So, and actually I also use those. I haven't, I, I've done it on Instagram, but not on, um, not on YouTube yet. I use these also for cooking or I think uh, for Instagram, I put um, ground beef with um, hard boiled eggs. I mix it, put it in here and then, of course, you know, my, uh, bone marrows, marrow bones, marrow bones, put them up like that. And then I put them into the Ninja Foodi and then ta-da, I think I did that for Easter, yeah. Then I had like nice things. So this is also cool to use for that. And okay, what is here? In here are also eggshells, but those are from my friend. Um, she got eggs from her, uh, from her friend and they are uh, from chickens that are outside, like really good quality eggs. So I rather want to use these for my eggshell, um, eggshell flour. And look at the colors. I'm going. I'm so excited. See how it will look. So let's just put all those into the blender. But I'm also. I'm not going to have enough from these. So I'm also going to use these. But I don't want to mix them right now because I want to see how it looks. Maybe I get some nice color. So, uh, mix the space here. And then I just grind it up. So easy. Uh, what should I use? Liquify grind. Let's use grind. <laughs> grind quite a long time and uh, you could hear when I hit pulse it was even stronger because I feel like eggshells I want as finely grind as as uh, as finely as possible because it's probably not fun to bite on bigger pieces of eggshells so whoa. <laughs> okay Probably gonna get really dusty. Oh yeah, you don't get a lot. No, oh, actually. I mean, I'm not suggesting you're gonna bake a bread with a shit ton of eggshell, pa um, eggshell flour powder. Yeah, you see here it's still a bit more coarsely. This is really fine. So I could run it Wow, it smells like um, chalky. Yeah, I think it smells chalky, kind of cool. I could try to grind it again, but yeah, I have some bigger ones, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not gonna suggest you bake uh, bread with just that. I, I'm gonna, as I said, I haven't used it yet. That's the first time I made it, ta-da, et voila. 
and um, I'm, I want to use it for recipes. I'm super excited for that, but I already know I want to use just a little bit. It's, um, I want to do like maybe muffins or a bread and then use some of that, but also chicken flour or beef flour and eggs as a not eggshell flour, like whole eggs or something else. Oh, this is a big one. I want to chew on that. Yeah, I'm going to grind it up again. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for the future. I'm going to post recipes with some of my eggshell flour. So I can't tell you how it tastes. Well, I could try it right now, but eating eggshells, nah, I don't feel like it. There are, there are people in the carnivore community, they wanted more, more um, calcium and they were just eating eggshells like this. I'm like, what the fuck? Just you bake with it or use it in a recipe. So maybe it gives some crunch, maybe it's even delicious or good like that, but just eating it like that, nah. Okay, that was it. Short video for today. Eggshell flour. Wow, I can add that to my flour um, list, to my flour, how do you say, selection. Have like all my flowers. I love that because I love baking. And of course, it's not the same like real flour that has gluten in it that is so bad for you but of course it gives you a reaction with baking and we're not gonna use yeast or whatever but we're creative here it's the next level cooking show so yeah we're gonna make some cool stuff with that i see you next time um check out my other recipes and as i said stay tuned for upcoming recipes where i use this baby Mm. thanks for watching if you try out this recipe please tag me and let me know how you like it subscribe share like comment follow me on instagram at carnivore girl see you next week in my next episode of carnivore girls creative carnivore kitchen no plants no dairy the next level cooking show